Hello, today we're going to start chapter two, which is talking about entrepreneurs in our market economy, why they are so important. We're going to talk about Maslow's hierarchy of needs today, the difference between a need and a want, and why entrepreneurs need to know that. Hopefully you guys have already shared your controversial marketing assignment with each other. Um, you don't have to necessarily read your entire paper, but maybe just highlighting those examples and what the company did and why it was controversial. Go ahead and open up chapter two notes. We're going to conquer section 2.1 today, which is entrepreneurs satisfying needs and wants. So we are going to distinguish between needs and wants talk about some different economic resources that are out there that go along with explain the role of entrepreneurs in the U.S. economy. All right, so is it a need or a want? So first thing, needs. They are necessary for survival. Um, they're going to be very different from person to person, but obviously we all have those basic needs and they all could vary by situation. A want is an item that you think you must have in order to be satisfied. It's going to add comfort and pleasure to your life. And the role of businesses is to produce and distribute those goods and services that people need and want. A famous psychologist um, developed something called Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. And he basically categorized and put them into a pyramid of people's basic psychological needs from the highest level to the lowest. So at the very bottom would be our most basic needs. So physiological, right? Food, sleep, water, shelter, air to breathe. The next level of need would be security. So that physical safety, maybe financially we feel secure. Then we have social, so friends, feeling loved, feeling like we belong somewhere. Then we have that esteem piece. So feeling like we are being respected, recognized for things that we do successfully. And then finally, we have self-actualization. So the realization of your full potential. Okay, wants can be categorized into either economic or non-economic. So economic is like physical things, so tangible. So a desire for material goods and services. Um, so like clothing, housing, cars, a new phone, a new TV, a new Xbox. Non-economic wants are non-material things. So they're not really tangible. You can't really purchase them. So like fresh air, sunshine, a cool breeze on a fall day. Okay, needs and wants are never ending. One purchase is often going to lead to another, okay? We have different economic resources out there, meaning which goods and services are produced. So a good is a product that you see in touch. So I think most of you guys are going to be selling goods. Um, I think a few of you are to toying with the idea of providing a service, which is an performing an activity for a fee. So a consumer would purchase that service from you. Entrepreneurs use several different economic resources to create goods and services. So in order to create those useful goods and services, we have to use three types of economic resources, which is factors of production. The first two is natural resources, which is the raw materials that we are using to create our products. And then human resources, so the people who are creating those goods and services. In this situation for this semester, you would be the human resource. You are the one that is creating your product or um, offering your services. We also, underneath human resources, could break those down into specialization. So when an individual focuses on a single task um, or division of labor, which divides our production process into different categories and different specialized workers are working on each individual task. The third type of factor of production would be our capital resources. So the financial side of 
production. So what assets are we using to produce the goods and services? How are we paying for and financing those raw materials and human resources? Unfortunately, most economic resources are limited, whether it's individuals, businesses, countries, um, they're all going to be competing for those resources, whether it's natural resources, whether it's hiring the best human resources, the best people out there, or maybe it's just the capital resource piece, so competing for investors. Um, there is sometimes a high demand for certain resources, which is going to drive up the price. We also have something called the law of diminishing returns, which is when one factor of production is increased while others are staying the same. The result in increase in output, which is the product produced, will eventually level off after some time and then it will decline. That is just the law of diminishing returns. All right, so now let's flip a little bit and talk about the role of entrepreneurs in the US economy, which is what your assignment is about today. So entrepreneurs play a huge role in our US economy. We've already kind of talked about that a little bit in class. They supply goods and services, which then meet the demands of consumers. They're the ones that are creating jobs. Um, they are helping ensure a strong economic future in different communities. Um, they are constantly looking for unmet needs or once so that they can then capitalize on that and create a business out of it. They are always investing back into their community, whether they're providing jobs, they're contributing to the local economy, maybe they're giving back to the school in that area, providing opportunities. They are huge change agents, so they are always, in, always looking to create the next best thing whether the way people live, altering the way people conduct business, maybe a new innovative product. Okay, so that is 2.1 notes. In Canvas, you guys are going to use your notes and read a couple articles and answer this big question. Why is entrepreneurship so important to the United States economy? I want you to tell me why you think it is important. So you um, can use your notes, but then also read through these two articles and then answer that big question with a couple paragraphs. Tomorrow on your, uh, on your virtual day, you will be doing just a simple discussion board telling me if the product or service that you are, per, are going to provide for your business is either satisfying a consumer want or a need. All right, if you guys have any questions, please reach out to me either via Zoom or email. Thanks. Have a great day. See you soon.